Welcome back everyone. We're at this Color Homes development in Beckenham. It's a perfect location for those seeking city proximity with a community vibe. The Bosseving High Street features diverse bars, eateries, cafes and boutique shops. Beckenham also has several parks including Beckenham Place Park with playgrounds, cafes and vast green spaces. There's excellent education in the area with several outstanding schools both at primary and secondary level, state and private. Beckenham has excellent transport links into central London and Kent. Got a train from Beckenham Junction into Victoria takes 25 minutes and a train ride from Eden Park into London Bridge would take 20 minutes. There's also trams running into East and West Croydon as well as Wimbledon. Today we're touring the McIntyre, a four-bed semi-detached home. I'm going to walk into the front of the property. We've got lovely paved walkway leading through the front door and we've got a nice little overhang at the front of the door. Come on in. Stepping in through the front of the property, we've got a very spacious hallway with Antico flooring all the way through into the kitchen. We've got the natural light coming in from the kitchen as well as the glass panelling here at the front door. There's a radiator and a security alarm in the hallway as well. I'm going to head into our first room, the study. All of the doors in the property are fire rated and painted white, as is all of the woodwork. The study is quite generously sized. We can fit about two desks in here with a bookshelf as well. And we've got the double glazing windows at the front of the property, bringing in all of these natural lights in the study. Coming back out into the hallway, we have here the downstairs um, toilet. It comes with a two-piece suite. We've got the toilet, a full-sized towel rail, as well as a sink and a mirror. I really like this wallpaper here and this nice little ledge that we have above the toilet just adding to the design element. Coming back out into the hallway, we have a coat closet slash storage space here that houses our electricity board and the internet and alarm system. Um, again, this is quite generously sized enough to fit a whole family's coats and shoes maybe. And on this side, we have the water tank. Again, there's still space on either side um, to store, say, cleaning supplies or anything else. So I think this is the main maximum use of the understair storage in, in this case. Moving on to this room here, I'm going to head into our laundry room. I really love this laundry room. If, again, I just want to point out that the Antico flooring is flowing through from the hallway into each room so there's no separate thresholds which I think is quite sleek. We've got this room has its own radiator and we've got plenty of storage here as well as under the sink and all of these cupboards have the soft closing mechanism which just adds that layer of luxury. We've got composite worktops and a very generously sized sink with grooved drainers etched into the worktop. And I just want to point out we also have here the thermostat. We had one in the hallway too. Heading back into the hallway, we are stepping into the heart of this home. We've got a three zone kitchen, dining, living space. And I love that there's three separate zones, but it still all ties in together as one. I love the choice of colouring for these cabinets. We have here the first thing, we've got a full-sized dishwasher and lots of under sink storage. We've got a one and a half sink 
with a food waste disposal system and the grooved drainer into our composite worktop. I love that the worktop carries on up to the upstand and again lots and lots of sockets dotted all around the kitchen for all your appliances. Storage at upper level and lower level maximum use of this kitchen space. Got an AEG induction hob, stainless steel splashback and a AEG extractor pan as well. Lots of storage here underneath the induction hob maximizing all of that space we have because we've got our oven and microwave here on another level. I really like that the oven and microwave are at, at a higher level, probably eye level. It just adds to the convenience of using them. And we have here storage under and above the oven and microwave. And finally, here we have a full-sized AEG fridge freezer. So there we have our contemporary kitchen design, nice U-shaped, very spacious, overlooking the dining area and the living space. Moving into the dining zone, we've got a nice little dining space here, accommodating up to five to six people. You could go for a rectangular shaped dining table, which could accommodate more people. I'm gonna move on into our informal living space. This space has a very light and airy feel. We've got a skylight bringing in all of this natural light here and a TV point as well. Ideal for entertaining, we've got uh, the indoor-outdoor feel going on here. We're going to head out into the garden. We've got these bifold doors that you could either choose to have just one door open or we could push open the entire thing to create that indoor-outdoor feel. On a nice sunny day like today, I think this is quite nice to just leave this open, have the fresh air flowing through into the home. We've got a lovely cake area here on the patio. Could have a table out here. We've got a table there for some outdoor dining. But I think it would be really nice to gather some friends and family and have a little barbecue on a nice summer's day. We've got a turfed lawn, lots of plants to the back. And over here, We've got the garage door here, we've got one at the front and one at the back so you could easily bring your car in here to the back, enough space for three cars at least. I'm going to go back, head back into the home and make our way upstairs. Coming back in, we're going to head up now to the first floor. As you can see, all of the walls and woodwork are finished in white paint. And we've got this lovely oak to the handrails for the stairs. We're in the upstairs hallway. This hallway is so spacious and I love that we've got the window there to the back bringing in all of the natural light even if all the doors are closed to the rooms. So I really love that touch. That window overlooks the front of the property and we've got the radiator right under there. I'm gonna head into the formal living space now. We've got a generously sized room and I love that this is a separate living space to what we have downstairs, which is more informal. To my left here, we've got a Juliet balcony overlooking the garden. This would be nice to leave open on a nice sunny day, letting in all of that cool breeze. We've also got another window here, bringing in all of that natural light into the room and a radiator right under. Moving back into the hallway, I'm going to head into our master bedroom. Coming into the master bedroom, we've got a generously sized room with a nice big bed, two side tables and wardrobe space. A window overlooking the front of the property bringing in all of that natural light. We have a radiator under this windowsill and a nice space here for a dresser. Just wanted to also show that this room also has the thermostat. Coming on to this side, we've got these lovely mirrored wardrobes with sliding doors. And this goes all the way up to the ceiling, so we're making use of all the space. 
and I love that the carpet goes into the wardrobe as well. Lots of hanging space and shelf space above here. I would also like to point out these sockets that come with the USB and C charger ports as well. I think that's a really nice touch. Moving on into the ensuite, we're moving from the carpeted area to this sleek antico flooring. Got a huge towel rail here, almost taking up the entire wall. We've got the sink with double drawer vanity under it. Got a window here bringing in all of that natural light. It is a frosted window. Got the toilet and a standing shower. I love that the tiling is going all the way up to the ceiling and also a nice touch to have a little ledge here for that extra surface storage space. Coming on to the family bathroom here on the first floor, we have a three-piece suite with a bath, a sink with double vanity drawers, a toilet and again the same ledge here for that surface storage and a full length double towel radiator there. Coming back into the hallway we're gonna head on to the last room on this floor. We've got a generously sized single bedroom with a window overlooking the front, all of that natural light coming through. I do think this could potentially fit a double bed but I like what they've done with a single bed and a study, so this is ideal for children. Moving back through the hallway, we're gonna go up to our final floor. Moving up, we've got the carpet continuing on the stairs, same white woodwork and wall paint with the oak handrail here too. We've got two bedrooms on this level and a, a generously sized hallway, I think, this is larger than average. We've also got loft access there, so more storage up there too. I'm gonna head into this room first. This is a very generous size for a loft room and I love that there's two rooms on this level. We've got the window here overlooking the front. We've got reduced height in some parts of this room, but I don't see that as a problem. Because again it's been very cleverly designed that it's not too low that you're having to crouch. We've got a nice little space here to use as a dressing area or perhaps get a dresser table for storage. I'm gonna head back out and into our final room of this property. A very very generously sized room for a loft room we do have reduced height at some level but we've got the window protruding out and bringing in all of that natural light wardrobe here again built in i like that it's got sliding doors instead of hinged doors so we're not compromising on any of the space again floor to ceiling wardrobe and it does go all the way to the wall so it does come up to to the end here lots of storage this room comes with an ensuite, so we're going to head in and check that out. We've got quite a generously sized ensuite for this room. It's the three piece suite with a sink, toilet, and a standing shower. Again, the tiles go all the way up to the ceiling in the standing shower. Again, we've got the ledge here for that surface storage space, and we've got the window looking into the garden. Although it is a frosted window, it's bringing in so much natural light into the bathroom. I'm just going to head back out into the room and show you this final nook. So we have the reduced height here, but very cleverly we've got a protruding window here that overlooks the garden. I think this is a lovely space to have a little couch for some reading. And again, we've got the natural light pouring through from this window here. And there you have it, a unique blend of sophistication and elegance. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye!